see that for yourself, sir. Sorry, sir. What? My goodness! Nelly, so this is true! Nelly! The porter was right after all. You have been cheating on me. Nelly, you have been sleeping with your brother. And you bastard! You have been sleeping with my wife in my own hotel! Yes, sir. No, sir. No, sir. For how long has this been going on? Wait! Who's this guy, really? Go get the key from the fat idiot and lock the door. Okay. okay. Jason, keep punching me. If you move, I will shoot you. Jason, hurry up. Go down. Your own case go to the friends. to know who Aloy is and how long he's been scrolling me. Ah! <laughs> Such a fool. You want to know who he is? And for that you hired this miserable idiot to spy on me? Well? <laughs> Aloy here, the sugar boy, <laughs> baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aloy here is not my brother. All that was an elaborate lie that we made up to bring ourselves within easy reach of each other. <laughs> mm -hmm. He has in fact been my boyfriend since I met him after leaving secondary school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have not loved any other man but him. I met you. I seduced you. <laughs> and agreed to marry you based on a plan we both had. A plan to get into the heart of your business and dupe you huge amount of money. And I love to Canada and get married. We almost succeeded. And... What are you talking about? Nelly, do you realize you're speaking to your husband? Your lawfully wedded husband of eight months?
their husband of eight months. You are just a fool! He's even, he's even more useless than I thought. Ah. Oh, hobby. Have you ever wondered why this beautiful woman here has never taken in for you? <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'll help you. I have. <laughs> oh, come on. I have taken in for you three good times. But I had them aborted. What? I can't. I can't imagine my beautiful self carrying and giving birth to a child of a man I never loved. That's ridiculous. You're losing it. You're so senseless. You fool! Oh, baby. Mm. You know I love you so much. And I love you too, baby. You're so sweet. <laughs> but anyway, don't worry about that. Worry about what becomes of you and this animal henceforth. such a fool because my baby here this sweet dick here this man after my heart <laughs> we both has gone far to watch you stand by and destroy what we have I won't let that happen baby can I can you please give me my phone sure oh yeah <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Nelly, what are you trying to do? Mm. Who are you calling? Are you trying to kill me? Hello, Dunga. Oh, yes. Um, Aloy and I have an urgent work for you and your guys. Yes, can you please come over to the hotel right now? Oh, my God. <laughs> In a green grass, that's who she is. To my heart. <laughs> we both has gone far to watch you stand by and destroy what we have. I won't let that happen. Baby, can I? Can you please give me my phone? Sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here, baby. <laughs> Nelly, what are you trying to do? Mm. Who are you calling? Are you trying to kill me? Hello, Dunga. Oh, yes. Um, Aloy and I have an urgent work for you and your guys. Yes, can you please come over to the hotel right now? Oh, God. <laughs> In a green grass, that's who she is. That's who she is. Oh, a green snake. In a green grass, that's who she is. That's who she is. Oh. She pretends a lot. Lies. Oh. I guess you like it in here. Mm -hmm. Nelly. You used thugs to push your husband into the trunk of a car. And those bastards drove for over four hours with me inside that hallowed space, without a care if I suffocate to death or not. What have I done to you? Have I wronged you? You have no conscience? You hired that stupid porter to spy on Aloy and I, and you- I didn't hire anyone to spy on Besides, I never had any reason to think you were cheating on me. The young man was just a man of conscience. That was a stupid conscience he had then. 
he had? <laughs> Did you just speak about him in past tense? What have you done to that innocent boy? He was not innocent. When he chose not to mind his damn business, he became guilty as hell. Mm. He sentenced himself to death. And by so doing, Nelly and I have no regret supervising Donga and his boys carry out the execution about an hour ago. Mm. And he did what? The fool's corpse is now resting at the bottom of River Niger with a brick tied to it. Jesus. Oh, please shut up. Shut the fuck up. Sign this check if you don't want to suffer the same miserable fate. Huh? Nelly, this is a check to my business account. What are you up to? Both of you. Very simple. We are going to leave the country immediately. Fly to a foreign land and start our life all over again. You heard him right, Raymond. The amount on that check is 676 million naira. Out of 678. In the account in question. And it is in my name. Sign the check. Aloy? Yes, baby. He's on time, so you go sign the check. Sure. Don't bother, you swine. I'd rather die than allow you devils have a pin of my asset. Oh, no, baby. You don't have to waste your energy on him. Okay? You have better things to do with your energy. Baby, this fool is insulting us and wasting our time. No. We have more time to spare it than he can ever waste. But she chose to break it. I gave her all my trust. And she betrayed my trust. Though I'm with someone. And yet I am lonely. What have I done wrong to deserve this? Is it a crime to fall in love and maintain the law? Is it a crime to show someone how much you love her? Is it a crime? Is it a crime? Please tell me I gave her my heart But she chose to break it I gave her all my trust And she betrayed my trust Though I'm with someone Thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mama. Is it 
Stop ignoring me. I'll give you five million. Damn it! Shut up! I can't shut up, Dunga. I just need water. Please. I want to die. Utter another war now. Coming day, cut your finger and force you to drink your garden drunk and quench your garden test. Just another word. One word. But she chose to break it. I gave her all my trust. And she betrayed my trust. Though I'm with someone, and yet I am lonely. What have I done wrong to deserve this? Is it a crime to fall in love and maintain that love? Is it a crime to show someone how much you love her? Is it a crime? Is it a crime? Someone please tell me. I gave her my heart, but she chose to break it. I gave her all my trust. And she betrayed my trust Though I'm with someone And yet I am lonely What have I done wrong To deserve this? Is it a crime to fall in love And maintain that love? Is it a crime to show someone how much you love her? Is it a crime? Is it a crime? Someone please tell me. Ah. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. It's a red. Baby, mm. will I ever stop loving me with you? Same question I ask myself in my mind all the time. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> ah, you are so sweet. <laughs> hold, hold on. That's my phone. Alright. Hello, Junga. Yes? Oh my goodness! Jeez! Junga, nothing must happen to Raymond, okay? Yes! Of course we need him alive. Yes, we need him to sign the check. The dead do not sign checks. Oh, can you just listen? Even if we forge a signature, the bank will not approve any check above 100,000 naira without hearing from him for a second tier confirmation. Oh, please. Fine. Revive him. Do whatever you have to do to keep him alive. Keep him alive. Keep him breathing. Okay? Oh, yes. Fine. Fine. Um... Aloy and I will be on our way to that place now. Nothing must happen to him. Um, baby, what is going on? What's, what's happening? Um, baby, what's, what's going on? Tunga said Raymond almost gave up. After begging them for food and water for several hours and they denied him. You, you, you see what I told you? I warned you about depriving him food and water when you came up with the idea. But you wouldn't listen. Oh, please shut up! Shut your lazy mouth up. Okay? Pick your dress. Dress up so we we'll go there to ensure your survival. In case you don't know, 
doesn't limit his family, friends, and staff who believe our lies about his urgent business trip to abroad. And I don't know how I'm going to explain that. All right, let's get first. Oh. Is it a crime to fall in love and maintain the love? Is it a crime to show someone? What have you not tried on me? Is it hunger? Is it thirst? Huh? Is it sleep deprivation? You even threatened to kill, to assassinate every member of my family. Now what have you? Nothing. You are this fool. You have miserably failed to break my will. So what makes you think physical assault will do the magic? That's because when it comes to pain, every human has his endurance limit. Not an angry, cheated man like me. Both of you betrayed my trust. And he obviously took you and your lousy vagina away from me. God forbid that I should do anything that would make both of you have access to my wealth. I'd rather die than sign that check. Oh, <laughs> 
Lance, are you talking about? The ones I paid a woman on your behalf to get back from him? Yes. Oh no. That's a no go area. Don't you understand? The robbers wrecked me completely. In fact, those firm lands, as things stand, are the only things I have left. They are only assets I have left. I don't understand nothing. What are you talking about? In fact, I was <coughs> coming to your house before you came in to give you this to sign. So please, go through and sign for me. What is this? About? An agreement drafted by my lawyer to the effect that those fan lands are mine to do with as I like. Until you pay me back the money I gave a wrong on your behalf. See, don't think about that. Try to understand me. I am not trying to punish you people. No, God forbid I should do a thing like that. I'm just looking for something to hold on to in this crisis moment. As a matter of fact, if you don't raise that money to give me back, I'll be left with no options than to sell off the farmlands eh? in a day or two. We are here to ask you, ask for your help. To raise 750,000 Naira required for Henry's travel to Malaysia to start school. Right. Yes. A scheduled. How could you? 
Come on now. If you don't sign this, I'll make contact and have Henry's admission and the visa cancelled immediately. Hey! Maybe I can sign it. Please. 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 Help us. Please. It's not about helping you. It's about me. I'm left with nothing. So this begging is not going to take us anywhere. You want your, your son to travel to Malaysia, isn't it? Yes. So how do I make it happen? How do I survive when I get to Malaysia? Please, are you signing or not? Uh, oh, please, where can I sign? Oh, no, are you asking me this? Are you daft? You went to school, right? You're well later, so why are you asking this? Sign there, please. How about the oh come on on oh, no. I told you that the robbers wrecked me. I have been depending on Afuma for sustenance since after the robbery. You can go to him. He could be of help, you know. Afuma? Ah. Yes. I don't get it. What don't you get? Afuma, your brother. Uh huh. Who recently returned from prison? Yes, exactly. Well, I gave him a huge amount of money to start a transport business. So, as we speak, Afuma is doing remarkably well. Go to him. He could be of help. It's not a matter of fellow children. John, just calm down. Marble that I get you people. Well, uh, you see, the saying that somebody who has a carryover today can build a flyover tomorrow is very true because it's happening in my life. It's so long I came out of uh, prison. Just the money my bank gave me just about two months ago. But right now, like one your number is in the yard, hiti hiti. I am hiti hiti right now. So lending you the seven hundred and fifty thousand naira is, is is not a problem. But the only thing is that I need good collateral. Afonwa, everything I told you here is the truth and nothing but the truth. Without the farmlands your sister took from us, we have nothing in form of collateral to give you. Just help us. As soon as Henry starts sending money home, we will pay you two million naira cash. He promised to ask the Malaysian University to put his admission on hold for one year. That is after registration in the school in order to enable him work and earn money to pay you and my bill back. The people he asked said such a thing is allowed in the Malaysian university system. Please help us. Well, that is good thinking. Your son, but um, without collateral, it is no deal on my side. Now, Biko, help us. You are our last hope. It's just that place we are staying. Our comfort is the only thing we have left. No tennis. Biko. I'm wasting your time. 
You are wasting your time. Nde na abajire go adegire de ogo. Iga ho go ego no tutu. Eh, no go tutu. Iga nehi. Eh, no ka nwa. Iga na ba. Ima na federal government ji 4.8 billion or some wa ji ogo. Is that how I'm going to learn? Biko, Biko, try and ever so. Try and ever so. Yes, the hunter, if you can shoot without listening, then they will fly without touching. So, my dear, I can't help you. Oh, no, you see, I'm not a man. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, I get it. Good, good. I'm my man. <laughs> I've said my mind. Harry, go inside. Get me the ocean picture and the document that I gave to you. Come bring it. Don't you worry. I don't want to repeat myself. Go in and get them for me. Now. Harry, we are not worried. Why are you demanding for I made the necessary contract? Paid the money required to get the visa and the document. Have you forgotten? No. But so those are technically my properties. Oh my God, to want to repay me the 1.2 million naira I spent to procure them for your son. Go in and get them. If I leave this place without those documents, I am going to call in the police, arrest all of you, and ask them to detain you indefinitely. Uh, please, ma'am. Oh, please, 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 please. I don't need this begging. Stop. Afunwa, stop this car and take me to the police station. Please, please, please. Uh, she won't have really embraced us. Lost everything and no sign of hope. Hey, oh, did you want to send Call me when and if you raise the money. Which of them? Is it the 750,000 naira for the travel or the 1.2 for the visa and the document? Get the 750,000 naira first. Then, others could be sorted out. No, please, please, ma, help us, please. We are not an ungrateful family. Please, ma, even God helps those who help the poor. Please. Really? Just one minute. Um, oh no. is, is this your daughter? Yes, and what? 
uh, uh, I will accept your proposal of the other day to give you the 750,000 naira. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. If you will add that, uh, if you fail to pay me as that, I agree. I take her. Huh? Take who? Your daughter. She's good collateral. Yes. Just swear to it before the elders and sign a document to that effect before the police. And uh, the money is yours. You have the money. Afonwa. That can only happen the very day I drop dead. I'd rather commit suicide than have you go into such an agreement with my name on it. So how did you travel? Well, contact me if you change your minds. I was only trying to catch you. Leave this place. Leave. Look at you. As old as you are. This is not your granddaughter. Leave. Shameless old man. Look at you. Is she not your granddaughter? Wicked man. That will never happen in this family. I would rather die. When we refused to give us the money, even when I offered him this compound as collateral. God. God. What have we done wrong? Where are we going to get such an amount of money within this short time? I will do it, Papa. Use me. Use me as collateral to get the money from Afuma. Why? Look over here, everyone. That second is grief staring at us. If the first son of this family could die while working for the good of this family, then why should I sit back and watch such an opportunity with huge potentials that could end our suffering slip away from us simply because someone wants to use me as collateral? For God's sake, for God's sake, Nancy, you are a human being, not a piece of property. No, Mama, no. Only human beings with dignity are called humans. The rest of us, the rest of us are nothing but subhumans made so by poverty. I stop living in denial of what is clearly a reality if we must change it. Papa, I will do it. Let God be God. It is time to end the suffering. <laughs> it is time, Mama. It is time. He lost everything and no sign of hope. Hey, oh, did you send
the way. When you get to Malaysia, please do whatever you can to raise the money. I don't want to end up with that brash ex-convict, Afonwa. Please. God forbid. You will not. I am going to work hard. I will do anything like her in Malaysia to raise the money and send to you people to repay Mr. Afonwa. Watching you why Papa was signing those dehumanizing loan deal before the elders and the police, it was humiliating to me. Why a young girl like you accepted to do it was not lost on me. You did it for me. You did it for the entire family. I tell you on my own sis. You will be the last person poverty will humiliate in this family. Poverty killed our brother again. Poverty has reduced us to subhumans in the last six months. But I, Henry, I swear with my blood. I will fight to erase poverty in our lineage. I will do anything within my body and soul, Nancy. It's okay. I believe you. I, and I know you will make us proud. And I will miss you. <laughs> I will miss you too. Please pray for me. Henry, that's not a promise. It is a vow. And I will fast for you from time to time. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, Henry, enough of the hugging, please. We have a flight to catch. May we? Okay, ma. Once you get to Malaysia, you will go. Come on! It's okay. My God will surely go with you. Nothing will happen to you. You come back safely. You will prosper. Everything you lay your hand to do will surely prosper. Papa. Go in peace. And come back in peace. My God will be with you. Just be a man. Go. Go, go, go. Come on. Again? Yes. Lead on. The gods of our land will take you there and bring you back. Yes, it shall be well with you. Yes, Mama, God, dragon, man. Yes, you will make money in Malaysia and we shall be happy. Yes. It's going to take Okay, okay. Enough. Enough. Number. 
close the abroad. Onye mo onye mo. Okay. Hello. Ah, mabe. <laughs> hey, oka da karaka. Come na cash. Have you reached Malaysia with Henry? We have all been waiting for your call, Mabe. You would have called us. Hey! <laughs> oh, you are there now? Very well. Eh? How is Henry and his. Eh? Hey, Mabe. Hey, Mabe. Hey, Mabe. Hey, Mabe. Hey, Mabe. Hey, Mabe. Hey, Any of, any of you? No. no. How did you know he fought us? I, I just got the same call from, from his sister. Mother? Yes. What did she tell yes. you? Is my son okay? Yes. Talk to me. How did he? What did she tell you? What did he know? Henry. Hey. Was arrested in Malaysia with a briefcase containing large quantities of cocaine. An implicated mother. Mother was just arrested as a result. She so was arrested two years. Help me. 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 Most certainly, yes. I don't know what I'm saying. Hey, hey. 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 Mama. Hey. 
Ah, you look tired. Come, come and sit down. Stop, stop, stop. Oh no. We, the elders of Amachara, in the Indo-Basic community, intervene to secure your release and that of your wife. Just because the people asked us to. Thank you. Wait, I have not finished. They did not do that because they believe you are innocent. Neither do we. Oh no. Ensure that our great daughter Mabel is released from the hands of Malaysian authority. Oh? Uh, we know nothing about. Shut up, you bad luck. What did you just call bad me? Bad luck! That's what you are. You and your whole family, you are ah. blocked. Even that wall lying in the grave. Hey, hey, hey. Anyone that comes in contact with you meets with one misfortune or the other. You are complete bad luck. Stop saying that. Look at Babel. What did Babel do for you to visit her with such evil? Just for trying to help you? What did she do? Which is a wizard. Mazikalo. Mazik. Shut up. Oberamusi. Small witch. Junior witch, oh. listen. If Mabel does not safely return to this community, Amachala, Ndiobase, hmm, three of you will be ostracized from this community. Oh. Yes. And if she ever comes to any harm over there, three of you will be hanged in the forest. How? That's the decision of the elders of Amatara in the Pacific community. That is our final decision. Are we in Malaysia? How are you putting it on us? Let's go. I'm even talking of my son. You're just talking of my bed. What is she? How is that my uh, business? Friends have really embraced us. Tears become our own food. Lost everything and no sign of hope. Breaking news. A correspondence covering the trial of two Nigerians in Malaysia, which had generated so much debate in the Nigerian media, social discourse, and diplomatic bad blood between Nigeria and Malaysia, just called in to say that the judge presiding over the case has delivered judgment. It is now, therefore, official that Mr. Henry Honora has been sentenced to date by hanging, also finding no concrete evidence to support his claim that one Miss Marvel. GK. His co defendant was the real owner of the huge poor disease of cocaine that he was caught with. The court discharged and acquitted Miss Marvel. Speaking after the trial, the Nigeria ambassador to Malaysia told newsmen that seeing no prospect in pursuing further legal efforts to save Mr. Henry Honora through the Malaysian legal system, the battle will now shift to the diplomatic front. Analyst, however, sees that as a battle lost even before it starts judging by the outcome of similar cases in the past, it will be recalled. Hey, 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 God of the poor, where are you? God of the poor, God of the poor. Smile today, pray tomorrow. God come. Wickedness of man have taken everything away from me. Chimo, Chimo, be
Thank you, God. kind of thing and you are rushing me for sex mm -hmm. where did you get this <laughs> i as i was searching for a novel to fight my burden in his private library i found a safe hidden somewhere inside the safe i found this so how did you open the safe well, after a series of trials and failures, a combination of his birth date and our wedding date opened the safe. Wow. A copy of his will? Maybe this man literally willed over 60% of his asset to you, including this hotel. I mean, this fool really loves you. <laughs> oh, I knew all along. But so bad for him, the feeling is not and has never been mutual. You know why? Because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and the feeling mm. is absolutely mutual. <laughs> you know, this changes the entire calculation for us. I mean, all the stress that we have been going through over the months is entirely over. This is a massive breakthrough for us, trust me. I 
Right? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? Mm -hmm. Raymond has really frustrated our plans. Lots. Starting from plan A, mm. B, and C. But you know what? I am so happy because this is huge. This is massive. It is. All the pains, all the sorrows, all the frustration. <laughs> and it calls for a celebration. Of course. <laughs> Another round. I'm about to hit you real hard. Oh, <laughs> come on, come on, come happy. Come happy, come happy, come happy, baby. Oh, oh, please. <laughs> Finding and going through the content of your will instantly gave me a new idea that would settle this little drama between you and us. And that's what we're here to inform you about. Whatever your so-called idea is, if it involves me playing a role in it, forget it. Because I will never comply, even at the point of death. That's the beauty of it all. You have zero role to play in it. You have now become absolutely expendable. The will and the massive chunk of wealth that you gave to me has automatically brought that irrelevant. <laughs> Both of you are here to kill me, right? Or are you here to supervise Dunga? Do it. Which is it? Mm. <laughs> Your death now will raise a lot of questions and create needless headaches for us. We won't do it now. Rather, we will create a form of drama to shield us from any form of suspicion, either now or later. Kidnap Java. <laughs> We've been lying to people about your Mr. Traveling abroad. So we we'll also need time to inform them of your return and also fake the kidnap. And then my death will be arranged to look like Kidnap a terrible human one. Hmm? Smart ass. You see, this is why I like you. We will need time to carefully plan and execute it. Baby? Yes, baby. It's hot in here. Gotta file it now. What have I gone wrong to deserve this? Is it a crime to fall in love and maintain that love? Is it a crime to show someone how much you love her? Is it a crime? Is it a crime? It's beautiful. Mm. <laughs> Hello Dunga, what's up? Don, as in that he's been buried and you and your guys are out of the place? No police? No incidents at all. Oh. 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 You are in town? Okay. That's good. Oh, no, 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 no. We are, we are not at the hotel. No. Okay, no problem. Just go to the hotel, pick a room, eat and drink anything you want. I'll pick the bills tomorrow. Yeah, fine. Aloy will come with your balance tomorrow also. All right, no problem. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Okay, bye. <clears throat> Baby, mm -hmm. the idiot 
has successfully been buried in the forest. Yes. yes. Mm. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> this is the beginning of a new start. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. We made it. Maybe we are rich. We, we are rich. Are rich. <laughs>
have nothing to do with their complexion. This, this is Ocha Abore Maha. All that all. Eh? Your father is poor. Your mother is one Eh? Oh, wait, there's a job. Oh, there's a job. And we will do. And she betrayed my trust. Though I'm with someone. And yet I am lonely. What have I done wrong to deserve this? Is it a crime to fall in love and maintain the love? Is it a crime to show someone how much you love her? Is it a crime? Is it a crime? Someone please tell me. I gave her my heart, but she chose to break it. I gave her all my trust, and she betrayed my trust. Though I'm with someone, and yet I am lonely. What have I done wrong to deserve this? Is it a crime to fall in love and maintain the love? Is it a crime to show someone how much you love her? Is it a crime? Is it a crime? Someone please tell me. What have I done wrong to deserve this? Is it a crime to fall in love and maintain that love? Is it a crime to show someone how much you love her? Is it a crime? Is it a crime? Someone please tell me. I gave her my heart, but she chose to break it. I gave her all my trust and she betrayed my trust. Though I'm with someone and yet I am lonely, what have I done wrong to deserve this? Is it a crime to fall in love? Maintain the love. Is it a crime to show someone? This must be a male and a female antelope about to meet. If I wish to see them very well first before firing, they will likely see me first and escape. No, I can't take such a risk. Not today that I have hunted all through the night with nothing to show for it.
the cry of the poor. Smile today, cry tomorrow. God come. Wickedness of men have taken everything away from me. Chimo, chimo, be Take me home. Hey. Uh, uh, Easy. Hi. Mrs. Easy. <coughs> Is the doctor through with you? Huh? Did he confirm what I suspected was wrong with you, which is uh, also the um, disease? Huh? <sighs> if you don't want to see the devil in me, take me home right now. Hey, what is wrong with poor people? Why are poor people always angry unnecessarily? Have you forgotten that the money you used to pay the doctor is my money? Hmm? Start this car. What is this? What? Start this car. Else I will crush your mouth at the count of three. What has come over you? Achakwala. One. Achakwala. Two. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Nico, Nico, let me start it. <laughs> shot him. Do you know why? He's a total stranger and could be dangerous as well. I don't care. Afuma, let's save a soul. Let's save a life. You don't care. I'm out of here. Stop me. Afuma, Afuma. Okay, okay, fine, fine. I will become your legitimate wife. If you save him. But you just cost my family and I. I, I will revoke the curse. Please, let's save him. Please. Are you sure? Yes. 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 
happens, I've really embraced us. Tears become my own food. I lost everything and no sign of hope. Hey, oh, did you? in the same place he was shot. Yes. If he must survive, you have to remove the bullet sharpener lodged inside his body. And that's what I'm just doing. But, Are you sure the water in your hand is hot? Huh? It's hot. Have I not told you that I was trained as a medic in the Boy Scout and later on a man of war? Have I not told you that? <laughs> you mean if you never... Um. Shut up. You, you stop going deeper. You don't stop talking and allow me to concentrate. Ah. Hi. Hi. Afuma, seriously, I'm beginning to have some reservations it's about your insistence that we tend this man ourselves. Why are you cutting him like that? Are you planning on killing him simply because I told you to help? and allow me to concentrate. I refuse to trade words with you. I refuse to pick quarrels with you. You will not succeed in tempting me into trading words with you over a dying man instead of doing all we can to help him. Please, in the name of God, shut up and allow me to concentrate. Afonwa, you seem not to understand the implications of having this man die in our house. Let's take him to the hospital to save ourselves from this trouble. If we do that, how do we explain his gunshot wound and other injuries to the doctor? Who do we tell people he is? Have you forgotten that in this part of the world, most doctors will not want to treat a gunshot victim without police permit. If we reach out to the police for such permit, what do you think they will do to us? They will open a shop on our heads. And I know that you and your Richard father will not be of any help in a situation like that. Am I wrong? If he dies, it's only two of us who know about his presence here. So if he dies, I take him back to the forest and bury him in the night. Speak to me. Afuma. It's a human being you're talking about like this. This is someone's son, perhaps a father and husband. How can you say such a thing? Okay. Do you want me to take him back to the forest right now? Right away? No, no, no. Eh? Continue, but take it easy. Then shut up your mouth and let's clean and bind him up. Hey! Boss, stop cutting him like that. You're going deeper. And clean him up. Well, you're cutting him too deep.
open the curtain. Don't kill him, please. If he dies, your son dies. No. Save him, and your only surviving son will be saved. What are you talking about? Save who? The man you shot and abandoned in the forest. Take him away. No. Uh, please, please. Please, please. please. What is wrong? Please. please. Take him away. Please, Oh, I Wild animals have come and consumed him. It was possible. It is not possible. There is no trace of such happening here. Where are you? No, 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 no. There is no trace of such thing happening here. Ah, uh, no. Hey! Hey! Hello. Hello. Where are you? I am back to help you. Uh, please. Hello. Don't be afraid. I'm here to help you, please. Uh, where are you, please? I will not hurt you. I'm back to help you. Oh.
Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. You're weak. Where we encountered you? Huh? Huh? I don't know. I don't know. Help me. Help me. What about your parents? Your siblings or even friends? Anybody we can contact? The hospital, I don't care. We are not taking him anywhere, and that is final. Look, how much do you have in your personal account? How much? Eh? You and I know that I don't have any savings. You see it. You see it. So, I mean, even if I agree with you to take him to the hospital. Eventually, I will be the one to pay all his bills. How many times have I told you that whenever situations involving me, ego, are involved, miserable church rats like you and your father should keep your mouths shut. Go and sleep, Adobium. I'm not leaving his side. Eh. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. This night alone, of course, my son was sentenced to death in Malaysia, and all means of saving his life has been exhausted. How, in the name of God, is this case connected to a mistake I made in the forest yesterday? I've done my best to locate and help the fellow. I accidentally shot to no avail. Can't whatever is behind this nightmare see that I have made every sincere effort towards that and felt due to no fault of mind? How can I help somebody I cannot find? God, please forgive me the way I left him after the unfortunate shooting. And he there be any remedies still left for my son. Let it come to pass without this difficult condition. I have suffered enough. God, please let me have some peace. Let me live the rest of my poor life in peace. Please, God.
What is it? Assassin kept you again? <laughs> I'm pregnant. I carried the beast's baby. <laughs> God, I thank you. I thank you for allowing me to be driven to this point. Thank you very much. Papa, 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 please, please, Papa, please, no, 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 Papa, no, please. Nancy. It is better you don't waste your time trying to stop me because you can't, my dear. The last time that lousy dog read you, I made him a promise. I told him, I told him I'll kill him. If you ever get pregnant, that is one promise I must keep no matter what. So, my dear, don't waste your time. Papa, please. Papa, please. If you are a tough one, Papa, you will you will have my curbs in your hands. I'm, I'm agreed to become his wife. You have done what? <laughs> How on earth could Papa, I did it? I did it, Papa. I did it to have him save a wounded and dying man. He made me hold his manhood and swear that I will willingly marry him if he agreed to save his life. God have mercy. <laughs> Who is the fellow that you such a dangerous oath in order to help? Are you not aware that in the tradition of our Majara community, the implication of such hope is that if you fail to marry him as you swore, you will die instantly if you set your eyes on another man's manhood. I am aware, but what would you have me do? He lost consciousness while begging we save his life. He was bleeding so much from the injury, Papa. He was shot. Did you say he was shot? Nancy. Did you say he was shot? Where? Where did you find him? Along the Koloko Road. On our way back from the hospital yesterday. Uchimo. What is it, Papa? I, I, I shot an abandoned young man in the forest while hunting uh, along the same road yesterday.
Shot yesterday, Nancy. God, please don't let him die. But please give me a helping hand. To do what now? Papa, he needs a medical doctor's attention. We, we can't leave him here to die. Nancy, there's no vehicle to take him to the hospital. This man needs to leave this place this minute. I don't mind if we have him on our shoulders. specific on that because he's still in a state of shock and low and blood okay but what did you say gave him those bruises on his shoulder and the laceration all over his body we, we don't know no, doctor. like i said earlier he came to us begging for help and before he could answer our questions he passed out we don't even know who he is Please, is he going to survive this? Well, because he didn't get medical treatment on time, the wound is badly infected. In addition to that, it seems he is heavily beaten. And he has broken brains and he's bleeding internally in three different parts of his body. And, and you say he will still make it? If he gets comprehensive treatment, which helps for the my life to you survive. That will, however, depends on what you do henceforth. For a start, he needs blood transfusion. We have only one pint of blood matching his. And that is what he's receiving right now. He needs at least five more pints to bring his blood level to the point that he will survive the multiple surgeries that he will go through. We have to buy blood to Make up the difference immediately. Mm -hmm. Bye. Yes, please pay to the accountant so that we can go get it immediately. Excuse me. Uh, uh, doctor. Okay. I, I, I want to donate my blood to him. Uh, me too, doctor. Uh, me too, me too. Okay, no problem. Nurse, yes, please take them to the pathology department to undergo necessary tests and please get back to me with the result as soon as possible. Okay, that's possible. Alright. Ah. Okay, how many people? Okay. Hey, hey, I'll get you a set God of the poor. Where are you? God of the poor. God of the poor. 
Your results are out. And your blood is safe and matches that of the patients. Oh, thank God. But you won't be making blood donations because you're pregnant, ma. Only you can, sir. No problem. No problem. I will do it. Right. In fact, I'm ready. I'm ready now. Okay, let's go. Um, the doctor said you can go meet the patient if you wish to. My colleague over there will take you to the floor. Let's go. Uh, okay. Hey, this man. Please do not touch him or do anything that will shake him. Doctor's instruction. sent by God to save my brother Henry and God instructed you to test us first please survive and go back to God and tell him that we passed the test helped you with the medicals and we will do everything required to see you back on your feet. <laughs> Did I just say that? With which money? I don't even know what Afuma would do to me when he finds out that I brought you here. I disobeyed him. Without his backing, this promise will be meaningless. 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 Have really embraced us. Tears become our own food. Lost everything and no sign of hope. Hey, our kids are setting up. God of the poor. Where are you? God of the poor. God of the poor. What happened? What happened? What happened? More blood than was medically safe was taken from me. And why would you do such a thing? Why? Calm down, Nancy. I was the one that insisted they take the whole blood they need to save that young man. Why you insisted? Why? Can you take my home? The doctor said I need a good rest and food immediately. Take me home, please. Please wait. The doctor asked me to give you this. What is it? Further instructions that we wanted to give you. But because of your father's health, we couldn't. We had to write it down. Please go through it and act accordingly. What is it? 
Krishnas. Nothing, Papa. Let's go. Nothing. Papa, nothing. Let's go. Papa, I don't like this. I, I, I don't like this. Why did you let them take such an amount of blood? Look at how weak you look. I don't like it. No, Papa, I don't like it. Why do like it? One bit. But I'll have to be on my way now before Afuma comes back. Nancy, please sit. Nancy, you have been hiding something from me. What is in the paper the nurse gave you back in the hospital? It is not important. Not important. And you reacted where you did when you first glanced at it. Nancy, my dear, I am your father. You can do better than lie to me. However bad it becomes, we are already in this together. I heard the not say we should act accordingly on the content of the paper. So even if it is something you feel you can handle alone, God the demands you bring me in. You bring me into the picture. Yes, my dear. Talk to me. Talk to your daddy. The doctor said he will not administer further treatment on the man up until we make a down payment of 100,000 naira. He equally said that if no real treatment commences before noon tomorrow, he will die and there is nothing any doctor will do about it. You said it's not important. I don't know what to do. Papa, I really do not know what to do. You told me that you have no money. Besides, you've already risked your life by allowing them to take an unsafe amount of blood simply because we have no money. Why, why bother you with such talks again? So, what do you intend to do now? You know, honesty, I don't know. But leaving that man at the hospital to die is completely out of it. Not after I have tied myself to living as a wife to that beast for the rest of my life. If that man dies, I may as well commit suicide. Oh yes, Papa. I will commit suicide. Wait.
is 7,000 Naira. That is what I have in this world as a human being. Take it. Papa, what for? Now see, I am deeply convinced that the nightmares I heard are not mere dreams. I don't know who that young man is or how he ended up in the forest where I mistakenly shot him or why of all the people in this world it was my own daughter who had to make such a huge sacrifice committing to that lousy dog for the rest of her life in order to keep him alive be my dreams may my dreams or not do whatever you must that young man must leave helping you to take him to the hospital donating my own blood and this lousy 7,000 denara are all I can do in that regard. For Henry's sake, for my own sake, that young man must leave. No money of my own. I, I, I don't. I have nothing, nothing. Or else, Afonwa gets involved, oh, Papa. Then we have done for him all we can do already. Then convince Afonwa to get involved. Do whatever you must to save that young man. Promise me you will. Look at me, Nancy. Give me your hand. Promise me you will. I promise, Papa. Thank you. Thank you very much. My God will be with you all the way. Go. Hey, 
Ogo. Yeah, todo, todo. You said soup is finished. Huh? Yes. Okay. Um take this one thousand five um eight hundred naira. Hmm? Take it. Prepare another soup. But don't let it turn out to be tasteless like this last one. If you and your wretched family members are used to tasteless food, not me, I feel Bobo. If this one turns out to be tasteless, eh, I will empty it on your head. Don't dare me, oh. Take. Take now! Don't dare me. <clears throat> Sorry for the last time, but this money will not be enough for making a sumptuous soup like you want. Yeah. Wait, oh, let me ask. When your useless mother was alive, that Ezopiam you call your father, did he ever give her up to 500 naira to prepare a pot of soup? Did he? Answer me, did he? Eh? Did he? Then do as I said and don't dare me. Wait, please. Uh huh. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bother you with this again. I was. I was giving this at the hospital. One hundred thousand pium. What is it? Why are you giving it to me? Please, Afonwa, let's save that young man's life. Please, Pikonu. Please, let's save his life. Toro, Toro. Who is that young man? I don't know him, but he's a human being, just like you and I. And sometimes human beings need help, even from strangers. It is you and your cursed family that always need help. Not a favor, boy. Please, I don't like you when you curse my family. I don't like it. My, my family is not cursed. They are not cursed, Afonwa. Please stop saying it. It makes me sick. It's time you use that word on my family. Eh, hey, then die. Die, Toro, Toro, die. What are you waiting for? Eh? What are you waiting for? Please, I'm begging you. My father had several dreams a night before last where some strangers told him to save that young man's life. Else, my brother Henry will be executed in... Malaysia, uh, please, for the sake of my brother, help us. Please help that young man save his life. Because now, for me, please. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, don't, don't. Oh, no, your father is a hunter. How did your father get to know about the injured man as at the time he said he dreamt about him? You see, your, your father, Onoha, is a hunter and he has been frequenting the forest around the area we saw that young man. Toro, Toro, are you indirectly telling me that it was your father who shot that young man? Eh? Biko, Biko Afuma, please, please don't even go there. He didn't shoot anybody. He didn't shoot anybody. Toro, Toro, you are lying to me. Toro, Toro, you are lying to me. Is it not? My father did not shoot anybody. Look, look, look. If not that you are carrying my baby and he will soon be my father-in-law, I would have come to report this matter right away. But let me advise you. Don't ever push your luck too far by taking up this topic with me ever again. Don't. Ubiam. Lay back. Because this is 300 naira. Buy malaria drugs for your father. Eh? Look at it! Take it! Hmm? 
have really embraced us tears become our own food lost everything nurse you need to administer this medication to the patients in ward 4 okay i think you need some more shots i will give it to you Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Nancy. Are you okay? I... I just had a little issue, but I'm fine now. Um, Doctor, one of your nurses called me earlier and said that the man I brought has regained consciousness. Oh, yes, and... Um... Oh, thank God. Can I see him now? Can he eat now? I brought him with bread and tea. No, not yet. He woke up with a shooting pain. The pain is so intense that he, in order to save his sanity, we had to sedate him. I mean, he forced him to come. Doctor, when you say sanity, is it going mad? Um, just kind of pain. Either kills or make them mad completely. Um, but we need to act quickly in order to save his life. Okay? Oh, okay, Doctor. Please, can I see him now? Oh, yes, I'm actually going to the world. Let's go together. Okay. Trauma-induced seizure we either kill him or completely turn him into a vegetable. Hmm? Do you have the money? Nancy, as things stands now, I can assure you that what you just saw here, you know, might repeat itself before the nightfall today. Now, so this man is in grave danger and he needs all the medical support, treatment we can give to him as soon as possible. Which are for the delays. Doctor, please. I <clears throat> we, we will come up with something. I, I, I we will come up with something, Doctor. I promise you. We will get the money soon, please. And Nancy, this is exactly what you told us when you brought your father here for treatment a few months ago. And up to now we've not received our pay. This one is different. Please. Please, Doctor. No way. The only way I can change my mind here is if Mr. Afonwa comes here to sign an undertaking with me, that he will be the one to make payments. Else he will lose his bosses to me. And that has to be done before noon today. If not, I will have no option that to throw this man out of my hospital. Okay? Excuse me, I'm done with this. Please, please. Please, try, please. Just need to, this man needs to hear, please. Now see, I am deeply convinced.
things that the nightmares I heard are not mere dreams. I don't know who that young man is or how he ended up in the forest where I mistakenly shot him or why of all the people in this world it was my own daughter who had to make such a huge sacrifice committing to that lousy dog for the rest of her life in order to keep him alive. Be my dreams, may I dreams or not. Do whatever you must. That young man must leave. Helping you to take him to the hospital. Donating my own blood. And this lousy 7,000 denarii all I can do in that regard for Henry's sake for my own sake that young man must leave Papa why why are you sinking me deeper and deeper into trouble by insisting this? Everyone has threatened to turn our lives into a living hell through the peace if I ever bring up the man's issues with him again. How in the name of God am I going to keep the promise you made me to say to you? How? One thing is sure. I will never stand aside and let that man die. Let the heavens fall if they must. I will see him. <laughs>
Toro, Toro. Where did you take that briefcase to? It was you who broke into my room, isn't it? Eh? Where did you take the briefcase to? Eh? What is that? What is that? I I invoice. Invoice for what? It was issued to me at the hospital. I... I paid for that young man's medical bills up front. I, I, I took the money from this briefcase. Afunwa, I, I, I just couldn't watch him die. Please, I saved a life. Bikonu, I saved a life. Hey! Where is my money? Please, I'm not in this room, bro. Money. Dr. John must refund my money. No, 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 no. This is why I hate medical doctors. They can finger a woman and send the bill to her husband. No. He must return my money. I cannot miss my boss. Hey! Hey! No, 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 no. Fun, everything hey. away Take your hands off the doctor now. You can have with Nancy. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Whoever said that is a big fool. Come on. Whoever said that, what did you just call me? What did you just call me? Hey! 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 What did you just call me? Oh, oh. Hey, get there. Hey, get there. Go and just call the Igwe. Igwe. Igwe, I'll release him. You yes. want to stop? You want me to release him? I get him. Yes, I get it. So take this product of my house to now. Yeah. You want me to get out? I'll release him. I'll release him. Hey, hey. My money, huh? Hey. 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 This hey. is foolish man. He's a madman. This man is a madman. He's a fool. So sorry, sir. Sorry. Let me see you here again. I'm a rubbish. Where am I even going? To report Dr. John to the police. Ah, say who died. Mbano. That will be leaving the substance to pursue the shadow. Eh? Afunwa, are you that stupid? Nancy and her father are your problems. Yes, get at them, and you will get your money. That's true. Ono, ono poverty. You and your daughter should get ready for me, because today you are going to fight the Adolf Hitler of Nigeria and Saddam Hussein put together. Ono. And Nancy, your daughter, get ready because I am coming. And if you don't give me my money today, hey, well, hey, nigga, bro, don't you want?
You heard everything I told you. Whatever he has now belongs to but a few because he forced you to agree to become his wife. Through swearing while holding his manhood. He cannot therefore molest or send you away because you used the money you co-owned to help someone who is in need. Papa, you and I know that the tradition allows a man to do whatsoever he wishes on his wife, even when he catches her cheating on him with another man. Afunwa can say or do anything just to humiliate us. What if he tells a lie to the people? What if he tells them that the man is my lover and he caught both of us if in bed? he tries that, I will go to the elders and tell them the whole story. By raping you alone, he is liable to spend 16 days in the evil forest tied to a tree if we report him. Because of his sister's strength, we have kept that crime of his secret all this while. If he escalates this issue any longer, come back to me and tell me. We will damn the consequences and report him to the elders' council. Go. Go to him, my dear. Go to him. Go to Afunga, please. Go. Don't worry. My God will be with you. Go. Oh, my God will be with you. inside this house. Ubiyam Nagija, where are you? Job of Africa. Onoha. Thief, thief, thief. On the poverty. Come out here. Come and give me my money. You ask your daughter to steal for you. Where are you? On the poverty. Ubiyam Nagija. Come out here. You mandated your daughter to steal my money. Come and give me my money. I am not your fellow mad dog. Mind how you call my name. Are you mad? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, I'm mad. So after stealing my money, after stealing me empty with your daughter, you still have the guts to stand before me and insult me, isn't it? You are a mad dog. Get out of my house. Yes. Mad dog. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. You are a mad dog, I said. I will now show you how a mad dog reacts to insults. A mad dog reacts to insults. Hey, stop. Stop. You're getting me. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Fighting allowance if, if that is what you want. Because no. Hey! 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 Oh no! Hey! 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 Hey!
I didn't plan to kill anybody. I have not committed murder before. <laughs> Oni, Ono, Oni I didn't plan to kill him. You don't know what I do, Lava, Ono, I go wake up. Whatever you want me to do for you, I will do it. Ono, I have go. Oni, Hey! What do I do, Lava, Ono? What do I do? Hey! 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 So who is that? If you don't know, this is not one of the issues you will talk or act like a miserable babu and get away with it. One wrong word or move, you go back to jail. Believe me. I'm sitting down. Okay, let me. Let me. I'm sitting on the floor now. Nico, please. I don't. I don't want to go back to jail for killing or no. Shut your mouth, up. Mm -hmm. Don't you ever say that again. You did not kill Omoha. But I did. I did. I said you did not kill Omoha. Sit down well. Come put yourself. You know I was going to the police to report myself before I met you. I stopped you for a reason. Now, I want you to shut your mouth and hear me talk for once. Okay, okay. Sit well. Get up and sit down like a man. <laughs> Behave like a man. Good. Comport yourself. Mm. Yes. Okay. Now listen. Mm. You are my only brother. Mm. And I will not let you go back to jail or die on the account of what you did to that living dead called Onoa. Hey, at the least. Okay. Hey, what? And I'm all ears. I'm always all ears because. Yeah, but I want him to come back. You said that you took the cops inside, locked the door, and cleaned out all evidence from the scene before you left the compound. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful first move. Now listen. You did not kill Onwara. Hmm? Nancy. Nancy. I did. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. shut up? Both of them started the event that led to this. And for that, she will suffer for it. Not you. Am I understood? Yes. So, so you... How do how, you how present it? I am coming. Where are you? God of the poor. God of the poor. What's an awesome? What's an awesome? Where are you? Where are you? Now, this is 200,000. You go and get your boss back. By the time you return, I will have a plan on how to handle the situation. Okay. Now listen, you don't argue with me on this. Not again. Because if you do, I will withdraw my offer for help and allow you stew in your own juice over this. <laughs> now take this money, go and get to your boss. To as I've said. Remember, on your way, speak to no one, greet no one until you get your boss. Am I understood? Yes, yes. I'm waiting. Afuma be gone. Did you a serio? God of the poor.
Hello? Where are you? Turn up the pot. Turn up the pot. The fool is dead indeed. You know what I told you to do? What is it? I feel forgotten. I feel like what is your problem? Where is the rope? Can the rope undo the need for? Once again, I want to apologize for all the silly things our former did and said here earlier today. Whatever his reason is for assaulting and insulting you because of the domestic misunderstanding he had with Nancy is irresponsible. I'm so sorry. I mean, what Nancy did is something she should be commended for. It takes extraordinary character of a strength to go extra mile to help someone who you don't know. Nancy, I am so proud of you. Again, I apologize for all my actions. I allowed my anger to overwhelm me to that extent. Come to think of it, my money is Nancy's money. Nana baby, I'm very sorry for everything. Hmm? Yes. Alright, it's okay. I'm glad that everything has been sorted out. Your apologies are all accepted. Okay? Um, we should be praying for the patient in there. For him to survive. Okay? He will survive. Meanwhile, doctor, if there's any other kind of help the man needs to survive, do not hesitate to tell us. We will not stop our work of charity on him until he's back on his feet, sound and healthy. Please, once he accepts food, I will make sure that Nancy has all it takes to foot the bill. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Nice man. Alright, eh? Thank you. Nah, nah, baby. 
you have to do with this house. Afunwa, do it quickly. Afunwa, do what quickly? Don't worry, relax. You will know. I want to speed. Oh, no. Auntie Mibel, what is, what is going on? my bag yes this is my bag what, what what is going on i'm sending you back to your miserable father whatever we have in common is over go <laughs> auntie mabel Afunwa, both of you assured me before we left for the hospital that that um whatever we told you here or at the hospital is meaningless now just carry your bag just go back. Forget the money you people owe us. We don't want it again. Forget that we even cross paths. Just go. I have your child in my womb. Your baby, your flesh and blood. I have it in my womb. Don't do this to me. If you are still here, by the time I go in and come out, eh, I'll go into business and answer that question to your cops. May we go back one or not? Wait for me. Wait for me. Please. Auntie Mabel, you, you are a woman like me. Please, please. Hey, 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 hey. Nancy, if you stay here and Afuma comes out and do something to you, I come out your way. You know how merciless and violent he could be. He may not sing an escort. It's better you carry your back now and I'm going to okay. By the way, why are you worrying over an old man like this? It's a blacker. Just fetch up again. Nigga, for more malaise. Ebe has not an appetite. See, go and eat money. Oh, yeah. Hey. You're not ever in a jersey. You're not ever in a I'm giving you your freedom. You're not ever in a Go. Just smile and go. Come on. Leave like you never came. Cheer up now. You shouldn't be doing this. Hey, hey, just let yeah, me talk. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You, you could have waited for me. And make sure the gate. Come, go, get a badge. Make sure the gate of Fuma. Eh. Yes, good girl. Phew, she's gone. So, this phase is closed. That's point. You know what to do. Ha 
to conceal the situation but I left her rushed to you people to report to you arrest her she gave her father arrest her no wonder she wants to shout out her intestine because you know what she... she's bleeding huh? blood Nancy's having an abortion Supporting my baby. Hey! <laughs> Abomination! Arrow. Hey! This girl will be tariak. Oh, kid, you are sadly old. Bad of the poor. Where are you? Officer, they killed my father. They killed my father, officer. They killed my father. He did not commit suicide. They killed him. Please don't let my father die in pain, please. Calm down, Nancy. The officer here and his colleague were the people that brought you over to the hospital when you were bleeding and unconscious. I asked them to step aside so that I can be able to attend to your wounds. He wants to talk to you. Officer. Miss Nancy, you have to be honest with me for me to help you. I need you to tell me how and where you got these drugs? Drugs? Well, we found it inside your bag. Officer, I, I, I did not take any drug. I, 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 didn't, I didn't take any of those. Nancy, the drug in his hand is a very powerful pill for abortion. We conducted a test on you and we found traces of it in your blood sample. Abortion drug? In my blood sample? Miss Nancy, you are under arrest. Uh, officer, uh, under arrest for what? Autopsy confirmed that your father was already dead before he was hung on a rope to make it look like suicide. Well, we were in your house to arrest you, but you fainted. So you are under arrest for murder and illegal abortion too. Officer, it can't happen. Miss Nancy, you have the right to remain silent for whatever you say or do now will be used against you in the court of law. 
I forgot the pains. You know what? I am taking you to the police station to lay a formal complaint against this fool. Come on, let's go. Auntie, the police. Yes. Auntie, Auntie, I have forgiven him already. You have what? Yes. Why? However you look at it, we are now family. Besides, I have his child. I'm carrying his child in my womb. Yes, and I've agreed to marry him. Yes, so there will be no need for that. Yes, yes, yes mother. If I try it again, Tom Boromborok, send me back to jail. I'll be send again to DSS underground. My friend, can't get water for her to drink uh, pain relief uh, medication that I bought. Go! So that she will take this pain relief uh, medication. I don't know what is wrong with this man. Eh? My dear, I am so sorry. Oh, it will not happen again. Not while I'm still breathing. Any time, any day he tries that again, eh? What I will do to him? What I will do to him? And mommy, what I get is say no picture. Because I'm not to be any made of an item. Open your hand on them. Hmm. Just take them all, huh? Bunya Miri. Naria Miri. Collect the water from her. Don't you know how to treat a woman? I will make it up to her within 12 o'clock. I mean, I will make it up to her within 12 My dear, I'm so sorry. Eh? You see, this medication will help relieve pains. Eh? Don't worry. It will not happen. Ne. Permit me to use this opportunity to apologize properly to you for what my brother and I do to you and your family. I am so sorry. It will not happen again. Believe me when I say that. Eh? I want to use this opportunity to and promise you that I will use every connection I have to make sure that your brother is withdrawn from this dead role in Malaysia. Hey, it's me there. Auntie Mivel, you mean it? Every word of it. Believe me. I mean, I can't sit and do nothing while they kill him. He's my in-law now, you know. So I must use every connection I have to make sure he's safe. And I will go to the hospital and see the man you took there and deposited the money to be treated. I will also apologize to Dr. John for what this buffoon did earlier in the hospital today. So let's go to the hospital and see the man you saved and the doctor as well. Eh? Whichever bill that is outstanding, I will foot it. Yes. And Afunwa, don't do this again. I will give you the money she took from your brick face. Any amount. Don't. I repeat, do not lay your hands on any woman again. Because if you ever touch Nancy in this life and life to come, you know me now. You know me. Personally, 
send you to DSS on that ground. Let us go to the, you know, the hospital and see the man. Go. It was them. They deceived me into taking the drugs without telling me it was abortion pills. They killed my baby. Even after killing my father, and now they are setting me up. Nancy, are you telling me the fact on how you got and took the abortion drug? I swear with my life. It was them. It was Afu and his sister. I'm telling you nothing but the truth. And your father, how can you be so sure that it was them that killed him? Since according to you, you didn't see them doing it. Ah, uh, officer, you told me that my father was already dead before he was hung by his killer to make it look like suicide. Look at me, officer. Do I look like someone? Who can lift my father up and do that to his corpse? I am only but a woman. How is, how is it possible? It was awful when his sister, officer. I am not lying to you. I am telling you nothing but the truth. <laughs> Officer, sir, I want Afu and his sister arrested and brought here immediately. All right, sir. This case requires thorough investigation, and I'm going to take charge of it myself. All right, sir. go. I know that you'll be wondering what is going on. In there is 2.5 million Naira. A gift from me to you. Thank you so much, madam. But I am an apostle of uh, nothing goes for nothing philosophy. So, what am I? I know where you're going. <laughs> you see? I think one is my only brother. And his fiance was arrested today by your man for murder and illegal abortion. I want you to... When I'm not come out here! When I'm not come out here! Who is that nonsense person? What is going on here? Why is my brother in handcuffs? He has been arrested for murder. Really? Just stop! Just stop! Inspector, 
get this horse off from his hands now and go back to the station. Immediately. But sir, Inspector Mark sent us to arrest him and Madame Marvel for my rank is superior to that of Inspector Mark. And as the DPO of this division, I have tactical command of every operation in this division. Or oh, have you forgotten? No, sir. Obey before complaint is the first rule of the police force. So, Inspector, get this corpse off of his hands now. Okay, sir. One more thing. When you get back to the station, tell Inspector Mark that Miss Nancy's case from now onwards should be handled in such a way that the names of uh, Mr. Afungwa and Madame Mabel should not be mentioned in it ever again. Tell him that the other is from above. Them. Officer. Miss Nancy. Yes, sir. I am the DPO of this police division. Confirm to me that this is the statement that you wrote when you were brought in here earlier today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I wrote it. Good. I want you to write a new one. In it. Nothing, I repeat, nothing must connect Mr. Afunwa and Madame Mabel to the case that brought you here. Understood? Uh, what is going on here? Inspector Mark ordered him to go and arrest Afunwa and his sister Mabel. Will you shut up? Shut up and speak to me with some respect. I am the most senior officer in this division. And if I must remind you, you must do exactly as I said. Over my dead body. You want to torture me and force me to do your will, right? Of course, I cannot stop you from doing that. But I'm telling you right now that you are wasting your time. You will not prevail against my will. You are only but a police officer, not God. Inspector. Sir. In every two minutes, does she refuse to do what I ask her to do? Use this hot iron to draw a big tattoo on her back. And after that, she is still proving stubborn. Use the hot iron to design her face. And if she dies in the process, you take her corpse to the forest and bury it. Okay, sir. Shut up. Inspector Mark, sir. Inspector Mark. Shut up! This officer. Inspector Mark, open it. Where? What is wrong with you? How can you torture somebody you don't know if she's guilty or not? Huh? Sir, we are acting on the orders of the DPO. You heard me a while ago when I told the DPO that what he said concerning this case will not happen. Didn't you hear that? Now get out of this place. With due respect, sir, the DPO is the superior officer in this division. Really? If you 
use that hot iron on her again. I will default you. <laughs> Sir, why are you wasting your time on this poor short girl? <laughs> now you listen to me. As police officers, we are officers of the law. Priests in the temple of justice. The police are not and should not be the protectors of the rich and their interests at the expense of the poor. You should know that. Go and tell the DPO that I said I will do everything in my honor as an officer of the Nigeria Police Force to give justice to this poor and wretched girl, no matter what it costs me. Did you get that? Now get out of my sight! Do this! Mr. DPO? Yes. How did it go? Oh, was so perfect. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Please come to my house. Yes, right away. Okay, I'll be waiting. They done it. The idiot is dead. Hey. Thank God. Thank God. On your chore, man and capia. Thank God. But come on. Can we trust police officers not to betray us in a matter like this letter? Asuma, the question should be, can they trust me? Uh, uh, how, how do you mean? Kosakosa, Liogo Magana, Otuano. I'll be in my room. Call me when the GPU arrives.
you? I'm out of my bill. You're welcome. Thank you. <clears throat> Madam Mabel, where is the money that uh, you asked me to come and take? As you can see, it's past midnight. I have to be leaving immediately. Oh, the money is on the way. Just exercise some little patient and watch this little video with me. You want me to watch a video with you at this time of the night? Just a few minutes. Hmm? And you will be glad of to watch it. Just watch to the end. Okay? And here we are. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum. Mm -hmm. Watch. Recorded all this. Well, what do you say? What can you do? What do you have to say? Nothing. <laughs> well. Be reaching your superiors and as well go viral on the internet. Should at any time you fail to handle Nancy's case the way I want it. Honestly, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. Mr. DPO, leave my house. Good night. DPO, this, this is your team, and that is mine, and another team is with someone else, who will do as I instructed, should any harm come to me, or my brother Afuma, so get out. Dangerous game you just played. Hey, this man is a senior police officer for crying out loud. Well, louder for one. Leave my house. Go and sleep. I want to lock my door and retire for the night. But I don't know. What if you leave my house? And no sign of hope. Hey, I'll kid you and said, Oh, God of 
God is not on the throne. Look who I have here. Hmm. Mabel. You think you will never be arrested? Or you think the impunity will never end? Or you think no one will speak up for me forever? Hmm? Welcome to your new home. I hope you make a good cellmate. I never knew you as a talkative, Nancy. Listen to me, woman. In her, I am your senior. The law of seniority rules in this place. In her, like I said earlier, I am your senior and you will abide by my rules. And I hope Afuma was arrested as well. Miss Nancy, sit down. I said sit down! It's an order. Confessional statement stating that you acted alone without any form of deceit or force to the crime that brought you here. I guess it is high time I told you what Inspector Mark said before he left for the police headquarters. He is already discussing my case with the Commissioner of Police. Mm -hmm. So tell me. Do you want to ruin your career because of this murderer? <laughs> oh, Nancy. Little Nancy. That man did not travel to the headquarter to discuss cases with the commission of police. The lie in mortuary. You can't hurt. Meaning what? Meaning that your so-called Inspector Mark, your advocate, joined his ancestors yesterday night. Hmm. You, you, you let her kill your colleague. Sign this now or I will kill you. Sign it. Never. I would rather die than sign this. I would rather die. Gentlemen. Hold that up. No, 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 no,
Here you are. Give her water to drink. She'll be all right in an hour or two. small to stand me. Didn't I tell you that before leaving here earlier? She signed it. But willingly. Silly question. Do you want to say something? Yes. Uh, 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 there's an angle to this situation which you have been taken for granted all along. Which is? The injured man in the hospital. Mm. What about him? Uh, you see, the uh, Nancy and her family mm. are poor. So all the mindless, unjust games we have been playing with them have been going our way quite easily. But the injured man, you know nothing about him at all. So, what if it turns out that he is rich and connected? What do you think uh, he will do for Nancy when he regains consciousness? and getting to know all that Nancy and her father did for him through Dr. John or any other person in that hospital. And what do you think he will do to you and I upon getting to know all we have done for Nancy and her father? I'm, I'm thinking that he might be our nemesis in the making. Oh, enough. Afuma, stop already. The distance between him and the grave will just be one let or injection if I get the slightest suspicion that he is working against us. Relax, Afuma. You worry too much. What Nancy signed today, with what he is going through, no, they will not dare. Because whatever we have with her will soon come to the end. For me, start looking for someone else to marry. Because the case is almost over. Do you get? Yes. Uh, but what are you planning to do next? Another silly question. Do you expect me to tell you? You know I don't tell anyone my details. Not even you, my own brother. So don't ask. Excuse me. Hello. Dr. John? Yes? When? Alright. We will be there right away. So here are the people that brought you and paid for your hospital view.
Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So how do you feel? I feel very tired and hungry. Okay, I have sent a nurse to get you something to eat. Thank you, Madam Pot. Food is not what I need now. Please, I need you and your husband to do me a favor. Uh, we are not husband and wife. She's my sister. Whoa. Ah. I'm sorry about that. Please, I need you to help me find my family and take me back to them. Please. I... I don't understand, Dr. John. What is he talking about? Yeah, there's a problem, Madam Mabel. He regained consciousness with total amnesia. Amnesia? What does it mean, amnesia? That means he can't remember anything, not even his name or anything. What are you doing? That's what I'm sure to. Um, doctor, uh, please can you do me a favor? I, I need a few moments with me alone. Okay, no problem. Alright. Take care of yourself. Stop this. I know you're pleading pranks with the doctor to avoid troubles because of the gunshot wound you came in here with. See, trust us, right? We are not going to hand you over to the police. You can talk to us. In fact, the police do not know that you are here. They don't have any story of you. So, tell me, who are you? I'm not playing crap. I can't remember anything. Please, if you can't help me, take me to the police. The doctor said they can help me if you. This is a big fuck off. Afuma, will you shut your mouth up? I'm telling you. Please shut up! Okay, let's see what we can do to at least get you stable force. Okay? said you and your father brought me to the hospital. But the doctor brought some people here and... And to me, Bell and Afonga. They equally played a huge role in saving your life. How? I mean... Why did they come before you and without you? It is complicated. You said you can't remember everything. I have... I have a hazy recollection of Waking up in the forest where I was shot by someone I didn't see his face. I I can also remember begging a couple at the roadside for help. 
but I can't remember their faces. And anything before that I also cannot remember. The man who came here with his sister and I are the couple you ran into begging for help. You? And, and my father was the one who shot you in the forest. Mistakenly. Your father? It was my father and I that brought you here. It's Nancy. Your time is up. Comes to you now. Wait, police? You brought the police to help me find my family? <laughs> please, move it. Move it, please. all the instructions I gave you. Take your medications accordingly, sleep well, you'll be okay, all right? Doctor, yes, you've not been able to answer any of our questions. Okay. I'm asking how long will it take him to, you know, come up very well, recover his memory in full? For how long would it be? For that test needs to be carried out on him before I can answer that question. Ma. Really? Yes. Okay. Don't worry. With or without his memory mark. My brother and I are going to do everything possible to link him up with his family. So you don't need to worry about that. Thank you very much. In fact, in two or three weeks, I'm sure of that. The police is also working on that, on my instruction. So before nightfall, the police will come and take photographs of you. Hmm. Yes. Photographs? Yes. They said it's the only way to speed up the search for your family. So not to worry. Hmm? Very soon you will go back home. Uh, doctor, yes. thank you very much. I will take it up from here. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, my dear. May we? Hmm? Yes, after you. Let's go home. Let me take you inside. What is this? Oh, that? Okay, I'm into fine arts. Yes. So the police contracted me to design some sign posts for them. Uh, this is just a sample. I kept it here to dry. 
Yes, he is telling the truth. Hey, Afuma, you need to, you know, take him inside to rest while we rush the pharmacist down the street to get uh, the medication recommended from the doctor. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. Uh, my dear, please bear with me. Eh? I need to be home on time because of my husband. I'll, I'll, I'll be coming to see you from time to time. Yes. So, my dear, let's see. Well, when did you say Miss Nancy is coming to see me? Oh, any moment from now. What about her, her father? What happened? Is he in trouble? Not at all. No, <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, both of them will be coming to see you together. Uh, yes, I had a little misunderstanding with Nancy two days ago, but it's been sorted out. But you know women are shakara. That's why she's not here. Uh, but her father will be bringing her letter. Yeah, he's right. Uh, thank you very much, madam. Oh. Thank you for your kindness. Not thank to you, mention. Sir. Thank you. <laughs> don't mention, don't mention. Let's go, let's go. Uh, please. Uh, Asuma, you know what? Um, take me in and meet me at the pharmacist. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be quick. It's all right. Mm. Yeah. Be quick. She Be quick. Where are you? Police, I, I, I did for my family. Arrest him. Move, move, Arrest move. me? Why? Move it! Arrest him. He will explain himself. My family. Move it. Move. Then down. Move. Go, 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 go. Move, move. Some house. Come on, move it. Okay. Give me now. Move. I'm rubber. It would do you a lot of good if you stop this, your idea of playing smart with me. And tell me the truth. Miss Nancy, why did you kill your father and aborted your pregnancy? Why? This is unprofessional. Very unprofessional, officer. You are abusing an innocent lady and it is unacceptable. Very... Tell the police. Tell the police. So it is true that after hiding this bastard in my house for weeks, having sex with him every day, beating him into pulp, killing your father, aborting your pregnancy so that it will not be revealed that he was responsible. You still talked him into trespassing a crime scene to help you tamper with evidence when you visited him in the hospital today. Uh -huh. Will you shut up? Shut up! 
you have put yourself in grave danger because of this prostitute. Both of you committed bedroom corruption in my house and EFCC has been notified. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, Afunwa? Please do not reduce this to one of your silly jokes. And for God's sakes, I am not a prostitute. Stop calling me one. Summarize what you have to say in a single term. No, 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 you. Explain it yourself. Explain it. You have been exposed. And there's no denying it. Corrupt woman with corrupt bottom. Denying what? Denying your EFCC and police uh, crimes you committed with this idiot. They are punishable by EFCC. What in God's name is going on here? Sir, we arrested this man here in the late Honor House compound. He and Nancy here are partners in crime. Detain them and bring Mr. Afonwa to my office. This is not happening. What's going on? What's going on? I'm confused. What's going on? It's been two days since I got arrested by the police. And yet no one is telling me anything. Did you kill your father? Did you abort your baby? I did not kill my father. And I did not abort my baby knowingly. Afuwa and his sister are behind everything. I don't get. You and I are being set up by them. And the police are backing them. The only police officer who, who, who opposed them and tried to help me was murdered by them a few nights ago. God have mercy. To understand how could a group of people visit a young girl like you with so much evil is your family in some type of dispute with them it's a long story. listen I need you to tell me please I need you to tell me I need to make sense out of everything. Onoha and family, what is it? Did I hide anything from you people? You know the terms of the loan. I did not hide anything from you. Why are you bothering me? No. We're not contesting anything. We have been finding it difficult to feed. Even once in a day in the past two months, without going to people to beg them for foodstuffs. Of recent, people no longer render us help as freely as they used to for one reason or the other. We cannot continue with such miserable existence. That is why we are here, my brother. Just allow us one farming season on two or three of the farmlands 
I used as collateral to borrow money from you. If we fail to raise the money and repay you the entire 400,000 naira loan, after harvesting all we planted in the farmland at the end of the current season, don't listen to us ever again. Yes, the entire collateral forever. Honor. Yes. If I'm right, are you saying you want to use money realized from farming on my farmland to pay me the loan you borrowed from me? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Please. <laughs> Honor. It's not possible. You feel you're wise. No, it can't happen. We still have nine months to the agreed repayment time. We are only here begging you because if we should go to that land to farm, we won't be able to harvest it before that nine months. That's why we are begging you. Pico nine. Barista Teresa, this soul is the general of the owner of her family. Yes. I had you. Well, let me ask you. Did you read the terms and agreement of that loan? It stated that neither you people nor I will do anything on that land till that loan is fully repaid. Didn't you read that loss? And we know, but we are begging. Papa, please. <clears throat> I'm not your father. Look at your father sitting by your side. <clears throat> Though, it would not be a bad idea if I could have you as my concubine for just one year. Nice again. Then I can forgive the entire loan. God forbid. such an abominable thing. Nancy is even younger than your last child. Yes. It's okay. If you people could deny me such simple request, then your own is denied too. There's nothing I can do about it. have really embraced us tears become our own food lost everything and no sign of hope hey oh kid you said you god of the poor where are you god of the poor god of the poor what's an awesome What's an awesome? Where are you? God? Where are you? 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 Where Wickedness of man have taken everything away from me. Chimo, chimo, bia.
Restlessness are indeed worse than strong wine on the mind and body of a man. This is three weeks since Mazia Wong refused my family use of any of our farmlands. Not the intervention of the elders council of Amachara in Ndiobasi community. When I reported the matter to them, could swear him. He wickedly stood to his ground. My family has become so miserable that we can now count on our fingers the number of times we eat in a full week. This week is the worst week for us. So worse that we have been surviving on wild leaves and palm canals that we pick in the forest after four days of having no real food to eat. My wife and I can hardly stand and work straight. Henry and Nancy, my remaining children, could hardly stand on their feet for more than a few minutes because of hunger. I couldn't endure their tears anymore. God, help me. Touch the nurse person I will meet today to give me some food for my family, no matter how small. Help me, please. I don't want to lose any of my children again. God, I don't want to lose my wife. I don't want to die this miserable. Please. God. on the road without looking? Come on, you're looking like a ghost. What happened to you? <laughs> when did you return from overseas, Mabel? Um, I came in three days ago. But I'm just arrived in the village door. So, what is going on? How is your your family, your wife, children? How are they? It's a long story. A long story? Yes. Really? Oh, come on! Don't do this, Onoha. Don't cry. See, I'm here. Whatever it is, we can sit and talk. Right? Right. Hey, Afumwe, please help him to the car. Yeah, come. <laughs> Carita! Carita! 
has remained bad off. Our miracle has happened. Come. Who owns all this? <laughs> Nine. You can see. Yeah? He must be joking. Just tell me you're joking. I am not a comedian. It is for real. I'm not joking. Easy, easy. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Easy. Don't worry. Easy. 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 I think it's easy. Mm. <laughs> mm. Thank God. God has answered. Sorry, my dear. Take. Thank you very much. Nine. Eh? How did you get all this? Ah, please, when we get. Thank you. When we get inside, you can ask any question you want. Just let's take it inside. How did you get this thing? Let's go inside. You are asking too much person. Oh, she's already here. Who? She's already here, she promised. Hmm? The very hand God used to bless us today. Mother? Hello, Teresa. Come out there, you. No, Teresa. I know where you're going. It's not what you're thinking. Come on. Don't even go there. It's been ages. In fact, I accidentally ran into him on my way returning to the village a few hours ago. So, my mission here is to tell you that I've forgiven whatever that happened over the years. Yes. I mean, how can anyone expect him to disobey the instruction of his dying parents? It's not possible, you know. So, please, forget about it. I have forgiven. Honestly. Are they your children? Huh. Pretty and handsome. Mama, who is she? She's your father's uh, youthful friend. In fact, she's our friend. We all grew up together. You know. I won't go inside. Oh. How did you do it? How did you get it? I've already repaid the loan. You don't need to bother. So start cultivating your land anytime you're convenient. You can pay me back my money. Thank, right. you. Thank you very much, ma. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, come on. Not to mention. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, come on, stop. Let's carry this thing. Yes. Oh. Hey, come. Babe, hey, what is it? I want to sleep, please. Not in the morning. Babe, listen, come close, just come close to me. Hey, please. So I'm tired. Babe, you've been saying this for the past two weeks. Come on now, I'm horny. I'm sorry to disturb you, but I'm horny. Okay, I, I promise to go gentle this time, okay? 
Oh, babe, please stop. Oh, honey, come on. You're not disturbing me, okay? I, I'm your wife. I'm just not in the mood. I, I think I'm pregnant. Pregnant? And you didn't tell me? You didn't tell me I'm about to be a father? Babe, I... I have not confirmed if I'm pregnant yet, but I, I think that's the reason I feel weak and tired all this time, okay? But don't worry, tomorrow I'll go and tell a doctor, okay? And if he confirms that I'm pregnant, then I'll ask, I'll seek for his advice on how safe it is to have surgery intercourse on it, okay? Just give me time. And you need to sleep. <sighs> it's okay. I mean, if the doctor advises against it, I'll uh, I'll just wait until you're ready. Thank you, baby. It's just the best. Chance to. Yeah, I was going to say uh, your safety and the child's safety first. Do you know what? You're the best husband and I love you. I love you too. Good night. Good night. Oh, a green snake in a green grass. That's who she is. That's who she is. Oh. She pretends a lot, lies a lot. So full of the seeds, claims to be so nice. But in the inside, she's the devil you see. She lives a fake life. All her smiles could lead to an early grave. Never trust her. What is holding Nelly back tonight? So eh? Could it be that she forgot to put the, the sleeping tablet in Raymond's bedtime tea? Or the tablet is not working? Could she make me take a sex story tonight? And, and she's wasting all this time before coming? Nelly, are you planning to kill me? My team will post too. Ha! That's who she is. Oh, uh, a why, green why? snake in a green grass. That's who she is. That's who she is. Oh, a green snake in a green grass. That's who she is. That's who she is. That's who she is. She pretends a lot, lies a lot. So full of the seeds, claims to be so nice. But in the inside, she's the devil you see. She lives a fake life. All her smiles could lead to an early grave. Never trust her.
Dave. That's what she is. Babe. Are you in the bathroom? Babe. So full of the seeds. Claims to be so nice. But in the inside, she's the devil you see. She lives a fake life. All her smiles will lead to an early grave. Never trust her. She is so impossible. A Mm-hmm. Enough for the night. Ah. Remember, you said the sleeping tablet has finished and you forgot to restock. That means we don't have the luxury of the protection you can tease us every night. Ah. Your husband may be awake and I'm looking for you. Forget about the mogul. Let's talk about ourselves. Are you sure you've had money for me for tonight? Baby, three whole children are not anymore. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Are you sure? I have all day to have a set when he goes for the office. Okay. Someone else is here. Um. What is that? Honey. Honey, how? How long have you been here? I just got here. And you left me in the room. You didn't wake me up to accompany you as usual. Oh, sorry, sir. I had a terrible nightmare about my monster in Libya. They, they were trying to harvest my kidneys when I woke up. Uh, according to Nelly, I was screaming so loud in my sleep. Yes, yes, honey. He screamed so loud that I couldn't wait to wake you from sleep. So I raced down to his room. And ever since then, I've been trying to calm him down. Honey, you know he's the only family I have. I'm sorry, next time I'll pick you up. Oh, that's okay. That's, uh, that's okay. I mean, he's my in law. He's, he's like a brother to me. <laughs> that's fine. Yes, thank you. Thank you, sir, for your Oh, no, that, that's okay. That's okay. You see, um,. You see, a dream is like a mirror into the dreamer's mind. You have to work on your mindset so that you can realize you're no longer in Libya. Trust me, all the nightmares will go away. Okay? All right, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. I'll try, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Um, Mary, yes. please go back with your husband. I'll be fine. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, my sister. I'll be fine. He'll be okay. Yes, this man is real. He really scared me. No, he's, he's okay. He'll be fine. You'll be okay? Yes. I'll be fine, my sister. Thank you. Yes. That's what she is. Now, to the question you people have asked several times before we arrived here, with regard to what we are celebrating. Well, my efforts to put you and your family's smile back has finally paid off. That's a good news. Onoha. Teresa. Mm-hmm. A top university in Malaysia has agreed to admit your son, Henry. Hey! Hey! Rizu. That's the good news. How shall I? My son, Henry, will be admitted to a foreign hey. university. Can you call that? Giving us our smile back? It's more than that. Come on. Hey! <laughs> Not to mention, well, if he is admitted into the university, 
He will be schooling on the scholarship comprehensive scheme founded by an African women club, which I am their chairperson. So I made all that possible. I will also make sure that he will get a part-time job that he will be doing to earn little money to foot his bills and send some little change for you people. Oh, <laughs> Go on. Thank you. Now see. Yes, ma'am. I will see to your job examination. And once you pass this to university, I will foot your bill. Hey, hey, you will pass. I will pass. I will pass, pass. ma'am. I'll pass my exams. Stay with the golden eye. As soon as Henry's admission letter arrives in Nigeria, I will use it to process his visa and make sure that he travels to Malaysia with me hand in hand. Thank you. Thank you. When you, you want to do cheers, you use one hand. Come on, let me teach you. And you do cheers, you sing. Cheers, man. Hey, Mine is a case. Madam Mabel. I am still waiting for you to tell me what to do with uh, Nancy and uh, Raymond. Who are still in our police custody? Who is Raymond? Raymond is the guy that uh, is being detained with uh, Miss Nancy at your instance. She said uh, she had him refer to himself as Raymond during uh, two nightmares he had four days ago. So, she started calling him Raymond. And I, I think his memory is being triggered gradually. Hmm. She lied to you, DPO. Huh? Lied to you. There was no such nightmares or memory recovery. They are playing on your intelligence with such talk. We told you that they are both secret lovers. And uh Afu one shut up. Shut your mouth up. DPO. Madam. I called you to end our deal regard to the suspects. Release them and let them go as soon as you get to your station. What? I don't understand what... Let them go. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, what of uh, the video you made of... Uh... GPO, I am done with you. What is the thing we are talking about? Hmm? Afonwa, should I remind you that this is my show? It's me. It's me, Ono, I used and dumped 27 years ago, and I am back for my pound of flesh. That includes to eliminate the idiot and his whole family. Did I tell you that I am not happy with you for introducing such stressful twists that I am dealing with now in this whole scenario that you cast for me? Do you think that I am happy? With the careless manner on which you mothered on her. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Get, get out. Get out. My friend will you talk this and get out. Don't touch him. Uh, then mm. you are 
hit men you sent to abduct man and the stranger and take them outside and do a where we will meet and kill them mm -hmm. are dead. Yes, they were shot by unknown persons, according to the DPO and uh, his boys. And as we speak, nobody knows the whereabouts of Nancy and the stranger. No. Who, who, who killed Ebuelu? Who killed Ebuelu? I, I don't know. The DPO and his boys are in panic. He said he'd be coming over to Oh, no, 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 not again. Ebelu's colleague, Adanta, that I sent to Enugu since yesterday, is nowhere to be found till now. You know, Mr. Femi? Yes. The one that recorded the uh, whatever CCTV on me handing a... Uh, Cooking suitcase to Henry at the International Airport Lagos passage. I sent Adanta to go and pick him since yesterday. Have you forgotten, Mr. Femi? No, the, the, the one you said called you to say that he dubbed the CCT recording yes. into a video disc before erasing it from the system. Yes. And the same man who started using it to blackmail you for cash yes. a few days ago. Yes. So what about him? Is he demanding for more money? I have paid him the one he said, no. but he is still insisting that I should pay him again now in cash. And I should come in person. Why? I don't know. I for what I don't know. He called me yesterday that he bought it a flight from Lagos to Enugu. So I sent Adanta to go and pick him up. Yes. The idea was for Adanta to waste the food once he collects the recording from him. Since Adanta called me yesterday that he has picked him from Enugu airport, I've not heard from either Adanta or Mr. Femi and their phones are switched off. So I, I don't know what is going on. I don't. This does not sound good at all. What is actually happening? I don't know. I don't. So what are we going to do now? Like you rightfully said, it doesn't sound good. I think it is time for us to activate our plan B. Plan B? The idea of running away to Brazil? What else? Afuma, your visa and mine, everything are ready. All we need to do now is to do our packing so that we can leave this place in an hour's time. Young lady. I don't know who you are and what you are up to. I must tell you this. If anything should happen to me, the venom of the entire police force will come up against you. Don't worry about it. Worry about yourself and your partners in crime. Meaning what is it? You will soon find out. Oh, the person that will tell you is here. Listen to me. Truth and justice have a way of disgracing people like you who oppose them. DPO.
After what you did earlier that day in our interrogation room, I detailed a detective under me to watch over you. He saw you taking poison from Madame Mabel in the supermarket and he heard her instructions to you. We quickly went into action and replaced the poison with a harmless substance. Yes. Obviously you took a lot of things for granted and you didn't bother to ask why my body was removed to the mortuary before the police was informed by my family as was standard procedure. On orders from above, I launched a massive investigation with detectives from state police headquarters on orders of the CP. Two days ago, the report of my team led to the release of Mr. Henry Onoha in Malaysia. After we provided the video evidence to the Malaysia ambassador to Nigeria, which comprehensively proved his innocence, we equally took some actions that saved the lives of his sister and the stranger you people set up and detained with her. You're joking. I am not. As a matter of fact, Mr. Henry Onoha is back to Nigeria and he's waiting to reunite with his sister. By the way, the officer you see right there was sent here by the Commissioner of Police himself to arrest you and your partners in crime. It's too late. DPO. Aha! By the way, Detective, where is Miss Nancy and the injured stranger? Sir, uh, my colleague is coming with them. Oh, here they are, sir.
courtesy of the airport recording you paid Mr. Femi to destroy. I and my sister, we are here to witness your arrest. And that's murderous baboons of yours. Officers! Hey, why come in with the police? You know we can... Holy Moses! Both of you are under arrest. It's Mr. Mark! Move. Move. Move it! See, eh? Move it! Move! Move! Why, why are you calling in the police? See, madam, move! Thank you! Move it! of your parents and brother. I am honestly short of words. I don't know what to say. But I understand how you feel. And I want you to know that I share this pain with you. The members of this family sacrificed a lot for me to stay alive. And despite my, my persistent memory dilemma, I still feel very indebted and emotionally attached to this family to call it my own. I want both of you to know that I share this pain with you. And by the grace of God, you will share in my joy if and when my story gets to his happy ending. Yes. Yes, it will surely get to its happy ending. God, just not 
leave this work up here. I give you the assurance of my unbreakable solidarity that I'll always be around for you and your brother. I may not know who I am, but I know what I am to you and your brother. I promise to be a brother, a friend. And your family. Please, let's go inside. Me. Oh. I'm sorry about that. You are falling in love with him, right? Uh, that's not... You can't deny it. Perhaps this is the eighth time I caught you staring at him. And I may be your younger brother, but I'm old enough to understand what love is all about. I'm old enough to know when a woman is having some feelings for a man. Those stairs of yours are not ordinary, Nancy. Henry, Afuma was... Afuma was a beast to me. Every minute I spent with him was a nightmare. But you see this man, he's different despite his situation. I, I felt strongly drawn to him in less than two days. I set my eyes on him. At first it was pity and compassion. But right about now, <laughs> I must confess, my feelings have grown, and in all honesty, it scares me. It scares you? Yes, it does. It is complicated. I fear that my feelings could complicate things for someone like him. He doesn't need it. A woman's emotional entanglement now not from someone like me and even if it does I don't know how it could end you see it's complicated indeed but you see romantic emotions is something very difficult to direct and control but if you can kill it for the same reason that scares you but if you can't, then keep it reasonable. Nurture it till it becomes something significant between you both. Alright? If 
looking for someone to talk to, Kid Roy is always here for you. I got you always, alright? <laughs> I have been discussing about you with my sister a few days back. Discussing about me? Wait, are you tired of me already? You want me out of your house? Uh, no, 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 sir. No, sir. Not at all. You are family now. Besides, I have endured too many inconveniences and losses for your sake. And I stand ready to endure even more. Same here, sir. You know, I personally see you as my late brother. We turn in another scheme. You're going nowhere. We are going to stand by you to the very last. Thank you, Henry. Thank you for those reassuring words. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for everything you have done. Most especially for saving my life. Now, do you mind telling me what you were discussing about me? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let us all the please take a photograph of you and upload online or even make a broadcast about you in the conventional media so that so that my family can become aware of where I am. Yes. Yes. Nancy. What if my entire family or a member of my family is actually responsible for the ordeal that led to my memory loss and finally ending up in your village. What if it was an enemy, a friend, a neighbor, a politician, even a business partner, it could be anyone. If that were the case, what guarantee do I have that the person who actually wants me dead will not silence me before the people who want me alive get to me? I'm sure you haven't taken that into consideration, have you? <clears throat> no, we haven't, sir. Now that's my reason. Nancy, I survived by the grace of God. And the sacrifices your family made for me. What is remaining now is for me to regain my full memory. And return home safely. I don't, I don't need any medical assistance to do that. The doctor actually confirmed that. Nancy, should anything happen to me, then you lost your baby. And all that sacrifice you made for me will be in vain. I am ready to endure to the end to ensure that never happens. We now understand your perspective better now, sir. I am a sister. We, we give you away. We support you till you fully recover. Thank you, Henry.
and we will also be praying for you. Thank you, Nancy. I appreciate everything. They are the devils. They are responsible for my ordeal. <gasps> you, can, you can remember your past now. Yes, you, you, 
can remember who you are? Nelly, you are so wicked. Nelly, 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 Nelly. <laughs> Here for both of you. Officer, I I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. What are you talking about, officer? He's talking about hey. the devil. Ah! 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 Who? Stand here. Who? Raymond. You're shocked to see me. Both of you are shocked to see me. You are shocked to see me? Nelly? I'm so sorry. Dunga and his cohorts could not bury me alive just as you instructed them to. What? Me? I regained consciousness and ran away whilst they were digging the grave. I'm very, very sure when they realized I had escaped, they came back to lie to you. Telling you they had killed me just to get their balance from you, then jet off to South Africa, where the police are told they leave now. Nelly, Nemesis just caught up with you. Officer, arrest these bastards before I take laws with you. Hey, baby! Hey! I gave her but not I gave her I I I Who's the loser? It's a crime to fall in love and maintain the love. Is it a crime? Madam, drag this bitch out of my house. How much you Drag her out of my house. Is it a crime? Is it a crime? Someone please tell me. Gave her my heart, but she chose to break it. I gave her all my trust, and she betrayed my trust. Though I'm with someone, and yet I am lonely. What have I done wrong to deserve this? That love is it a crime to show someone how much you love her? Is it a crime? Is it a crime? Someone please tell me.
So Harry, this is your room. Um, thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Just tell me if you need anything, okay? Oh, thank you. All right. I'm sorry, sir. You said this is my room? Yes, your room. You don't like it. <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay. Um, how about my sister? Oh, um, there's a room for her. Okay. All right. Just let me know if you need anything, okay? okay. Thank you, sir. All right. She's an angel. My beauty, my world. I'll love you forever. I'll love you come to rescue me. Thank you, thank you. Come in, come in. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Go we'll get some drinks. Get some drinks. Are you comfortable there? You wanna... <laughs> of course. You know, I need to reach out to Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, my pains are here. The love of my life. Since she came to me. My wife. She came to me to save my life. She's a Come on. 